Okay, Justin Deering here, our second attempt at doing this, uh, or recording this, uh, before we had a little camera accident. So over here, um, we got some rusty metal, okay, and I'm going to try to cut it with the Milwaukee hacksaw, okay, and uh, basically with a cheap Harbor Freight blade on it. And what I basically found is you want a high tension uh, hacksaw blade where you can adjust the tension, because as you cut this, the as, as you cut the, the blade will stretch out from use. Um, as well as dull, and I, I, I learned that, that, that I really believe it's more the, uh, the, the, the frame than the blade um, when, I, when I cut this one and a half inch mouse uh, bar steel. Um, okay, um, hold on one second. I'm going to try to, oh, I, I just put something on here. I'll just, if I do that, now that my stabler, okay, where's my, I'm going to put that bar of metal on here, hopefully. That'll keep that steady. And watch me. Hopefully, I'm going to cut through this. transfer to something that's not going to lose a lot of energy and vibration. The big bench bikes over here. I don't know how good the picture's going to be. I really want to do this in one shot, folks. Which is amazing my problem here. Maybe I'll finally learn. But it, it's... I want to... Wanna... Not spend a lot of time in post production on these folks. Is is really what it comes down to. But uh, my uh, that's a room over here. So. Okay. Oh, it feels so much better, folks. as you go and stretch out the blade okay so you want to adjust you want to tighten the blade um
Okay, so we're, we're almost through this. We know we're going to get through this with the hacksaw. So we're going to try something else just for fun. Um, we're going to try uh, to demonstrate a, a tool called a uh, coal chisel. And a coal chisel is, is uh, basically just like a... Get this one, get the sick one. A really big one. I'm missing one of my coal chisels. So, cold chisels are for cutting stone or metal. So this, when they're this thick, they only can do really do stone. Uh, this small, basically, they're hardened. They're usually at a 60 degree angle. I ground this to a bad angle. Focus, focus, focus. But anyway, I, I ground that with the grind wheel over there. Let's see if I can find my slightly bigger one. Hope it's not annoying. Well, oh, you're not going to see that one today, folks. Anyway, uh, it's a little thicker than you normally would cut with a cold chisel, but I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a try. Let's see if we can cut through this with this, and we'll see what the, what our time count is. So we're at the six minute mark. Okay, just me babbling. So uh, what we definitely learned so far. Oh, this is gonna. I don't know. Well, at this point, like it's it's it's. I don't know. Okay, so. Um, you know, thanks for that. I want to show you what you can cut with a cold chisel. Right here. But we're going to circle back with that. We're going to do a little cold chisel cutting. Okay, so this is a. So, uh, Harbor Freight sells ammo cans. You can buy real, like, that, that I don't think ever. Or you can buy, like, Army Surplus ammo cans. You can even buy whatever. Uh, what I did, I stuck a Vapo Rust in it. And what I've noticed, it seems to be slow. So, Vapo Rust is a safe means to clean off paint. Um, but this is getting gooey, and I'm wondering if it's slowly eating at the inside of the paint. Uh, it also sucks it in. But, uh, evapor rust, yeah, so it's a safe, it, 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 it doesn't take long, but what I like about it is you can, like, forget about it, basically. Um, but anyway, we're going to put this in there. It'll come out. It'll, if I leave it in for a little bit, it'll look like this. Um, and then eventually with a little bit of work, I'll, I'll be able to get it nice and shiny, like, like, my could have some more anyway whatever um where's my stuff this is my stuff up but uh and yeah that rust you don't have to keep it in a sealed container i don't know if that i think i think part of the issue there's some uh state changes of matter from gas or whatever but um you should wear safety glasses when you do this i don't have my safety glasses handy so we're gonna oh wait you know what i do have in here i have Glasses that aren't really like my prescription or anything, but they're not too far off. They don't hurt my eyes too much if I use them. Um, I know I should have a nail here. Come on, where's my nail? I'm gonna show you. Uh, never do this with a masonry nail. Oh, there we go. There's my nail. Okay. There's the nail. Pretty thick nail, right? So here we go. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna do this for a reason. We're gonna we're gonna put vice grip on it, only so we don't we don't lose it. Or we'll put uh yeah. So we we just don't want to lose this. Basically, the other piece that when it snaps off. Um. So I'll do. We're not gonna put this, we don't need the soft jaws. We don't care. We the soft jaws, right? Okay. So the point is, you can cut through metal with a chisel. And you can buy this Home Depot, by the way. This is like a normal, um, you know, it's not very expensive. You can buy them Home Depot in the hand tool section, uh, you know, or any, you know, whatever, clothes or what have you. Okay. You want me to do that? Okay, that's not gonna work. Does work. We do it over here, right? Okay. You need you need an anvil, basically. And and so this 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 mallet happens to have this uh bench vice happens to have an anvil. Uh, but you, you can do this you can do this uh with anything basically. 
Uh, you can do you can do this with like a, just any piece of metal you have or or a brick. Just put some metal above. Put get a stone, and a stone will be fine. Uh, and if you want to last forever, just get like a piece of metal, like a washer or something, to put over it. So uh, you know you don't eventually like chip away at that that rock. Made a dent. Takes a while. Okay, so. So, um, we put a dent in this, right? So we, we've definitely put a dent in this already. Okay. Um, let me just get a vice grip. Let me get a vice grip. I have vice grips. I have vice grips. I swear. Maybe. Okay. I just don't want, like, I did this before and then I lost both pieces of it. Said, I probably need a bigger end. I, I need a different kind of anvil if I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Let me put the hammer down! Where do I put the hammer? There we go. There we go. Not my hammer. So anyway. And like, look, I'm doing a lot of talking here while I'm doing this, right? So this is. The important thing is to have a good strength on the hammer. And yeah, this, this is where, like, having a, like, a three pound versus a two pound, like, get the biggest sledgehammer you can possibly swing on. Safety glasses on this because this will go on the And you know, and it's a little faster when you're not. And look, I mean, look at the big bend up in the nail, like, like I'm, I'm doing whatever, right? Look at the big. But yeah, you want to put this against an anvil. You're probably not going to get much joy if you do this in a vice, or maybe you will. Probably the way, oh, you know how we can put in a vice that'll get us joy. So we want to put this, there you go, and I should, I should get the Allen key that helps and straighten that up so it doesn't rotate this way. Um, but anyway, you don't want to lose energy when you do this, okay? You don't want to lose energy, is basically what, you don't, you don't want to lose energy to, um, so keep this as low on the vice as you can. Get rid of too much energy there. Okay, let's go. Let's break this. Uh, obviously, this is the point I'd snap it. I would normally snap this. Making a point here. Making a point here. But anyway. Hope you enjoy your morning. Hope, hope, hope people enjoy these videos. My little... I gave up social media for Lent. I didn't give up YouTube. So, I hope... Uh, you know, people who follow me on social media... Get any... You know... I get joy out of you. I'm hoping to give some joy to you. Um, you know, reach out, comment, or tell me you get no joy from me, or whatever. Be honest. Zippy loves you all 3,000. Okay. Okay, come on. I just want to keep this balanced. Okay. We got this like super thin over here. I'm just gonna break this. I'm gonna break that. Okay. Anyway, I could break through it. And uh, the problem with the breakthrough will go flying and we came up. Um, like the last piece over here, right? So there we go. Um, you can break through. And, and just to show you like a smaller nail, you can do this with. Okay. And actually, I don't know. Let's look at our time situation here. Um, look at our time situation here. Because I do. Uh, I don't know, 14 minutes. Um, you know, we'll, we'll whatever. So, and then, and then uh, so, uh, you can use a file over here to clean it off, but, uh, you've seen enough hand tools me. Um, so we want to, we want to clean this off and make a nice round edge. Uh, this up. And this is, uh, family first, safety third. Um, actually, this is probably, uh, it's definitely a little
I have a fire extinguisher nearby, so don't worry about the fire too much. Uh, I did vacuum up a lot of it. Yeah, there's a lot less fuel. These sparks are not very hot. So I wouldn't worry about the nice fuel. So anyway, um, as you can see, this over here is super sharp. Uh, I hope it's focusing on it. I have no idea because I'm not behind the camera. And uh, this one over here, so we smoothed it out, right? So, so basically, if you ever wanted to use the nail for a project over here, um, and if I wanted to use the nail for, yeah, so if I wanted to uh, cut a nail, I'd, I'd probably use a hacksaw. If I wanted to uh, use it, you know, measure it to a to more precise length until I was, you know, or you can get better with the, with the cold chisel. Um, and you can do it in less strikes if you uh, have a workbench. Maybe, maybe I'll, do, I'll do a more refined setup um, so I can, I can control where pieces go flying and, and, and what have you. Um, that, that, vi you know, that, that anvil is good enough. Uh, you can use anything. You can use this as an anvil, uh, you know, whatever. You just need a heavy, you need some mass below that. Uh, you can use two hammers uh, when, you're, when you're using armor. Let's say you, you want to some cold chisel. I'm babbling now, but uh, just, just to enable you, you know, if, if you don't have a lot, uh, you can use this. You can use the side of a hammer, you can, and you have two sledgehammers, and you hit it like this. You do want the top hammer to be a sledgehammer as well. But maybe like if I had if I had two, uh, and I wouldn't put it on a, on a hollow surface like this. But if I wanted to cut this with a, if I just had a cold chisel, I had two sledgehammers, and one was like a two pounder, and one was a three or four pounder. I would I would I would use the uh, two pounder of the anvil, the three or four pounder, whatever, on a on a hard surface. Anyway, um, as you can see, you can cut metal without 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 power tools, without an angle grinder. Um, it doesn't take you know it whatever. We're we're taking twenty minutes here because we're talking, but um, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll demonstrate. Uh, I'll get a better setup do the speed, but uh, the big thing you want, what we learned, is steady surface. When we're doing this on the tool chest over here, uh, which vibrates, you know, I gotta, I gotta deal with the fact the wheels aren't level. Um, you know, I have a lot of tools in it. It's relatively heavy. Uh, it's not super heavy for a mechanic. You know, if you're a real mechanic, you have heavier tools than me. Um, but, but basically, the, the ground's not level. I gotta chalk it up or, or something um, to, to deal with that. But yeah, just, just, just feel, feel empowered. You know, go out, cut some, cut, cut some metal. Cut, cut some metal. Uh, you know, the way like, you know, they did like the Greeks or whatever, the Greeks or the Romans, you know, with, with the chisel, just, just, uh, cheap chisel, cheap, uh, whatever, such hammer and, and whatever piece of metal you have lying around doesn't have to be a vice or just use a hacksaw. Um, you know, don't, uh, you know, you, you can do it, uh, feel, feel empowered, but, uh, experiment, um, you know, make, make, make some, make some, make some, make some stuff. Um, have a great day, everyone.